Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia-Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all-time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. Okay, this is my uh, top tip number nine. And again, this follows on from top tip number eight, uh, which is where we use the select and mask dialogue. Um, and this is a, a different image that we were working on, but you can see um, the select and mask has been at play here. If I just uh, shift click that layer mask, you can see the decontaminate feature of the select and mask dialogue has been applied just to the hair there. Uh, I'll just shift click to um, put that image back. Now, all of the adjustments that we apply in the Select and Mask are pretty much global. They're affecting all of the edges at the same time. Now, occasionally what happens is um, most of the edge is uh, pretty much bang on or perfect, but we've got one part of the mask edge that needs further refinement. Now, this is actually a completed image, but I'm just going to show you how we can work on just one area uh, of that edge. I'm just going to grab the lasso tool and I'm going to put in a small amount amount of feather there, 10 pixels feather, and uh, we'll just uh, select an area of this mask. Um, now I'm not selecting the image, I'm selecting the layer mask that is on that layer. And now I'm going to zoom in, okay, I'm just going to zoom into that area so you can see me adjust just this area of this edge. Okay, so the adjustment tools that we're going to use, um, they're, not, uh, they're not obvious, so this is a, a great uh, top tip here, is if we come down to the filter menu and come down to other, they obviously ran out of names for this group of filters, we've got these very useful features uh, or filters for compositing, which are the maximum and minimum uh, filters. Uh, I'm just going to select the maximum first, and uh, what... Uh, I'll just click in onto the edge so you can see that this is the edge uh, that we're working with. Now it's got a radius of just one pixel, but I can raise that so you can see what is happening. Now what is actually happening is I'm moving the position of that edge of the mask. Okay, so we're revealing some more of the black pixels that are used to exist in the old background. So it's a way of refining the position of that edge of the mask. Now. Um, I, I'll push that back down to one okay and I'll cancel that out and show you that minimum actually does the opposite there and this is typically what is more valuable in compositing is we come down to filter other minimum and if we have any old background pixels that are just visible at that edge we can just contract that uh, edge back in thereby hiding any of the black pixels that we might be able to see in that area okay so um, let's just uh, select uh, OK on that uh, part of the edge because I've been doing that with a 10 pixel feather that happens very gradually over that edge so we don't see an abut break on that edge uh, the other things we can do to the uh, that part of the edge is control how sharp or uh, contrasty that edge is. So if we need a little bit more softening at that edge, we just come up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and this will soften the edge in that area. Obviously, if I soften it too much, uh, we're going to um, uh, again reveal some of the older background. But if you have um, uh, you're compositing an area of a of an edge that is slightly out of focus in camera, you don't want really a sharp edge of that mask. So this would really be useful in those instances as we soften the area of that mask. Okay. Uh, the other way to um, uh, uh, work with that is to apply a, a contrast adjustment, um, basically a brightness contrast, and you and move the contrast slider will increase the sharpness of that edge. If you're looking at uh, a very um, uh, tools that can really fine tune that edge, I would come in with the levels adjustment. Okay, we're not adjusting the levels of the image, but the levels of the mask. So if I come in with Command L on a Control L on a PC. Um, 
it's a very uninteresting histogram uh, basically because we're looking at a histogram of basically a mask which is essentially black and white with a few shades of gray right at the edge and if we're as long as we've got some softening on that mask we can actually uh, fine-tune the position of that I'll just um, cancel that out and apply a little bit uh, more Gaussian blur because if you don't have too much blur on that edge uh, then the um, the adjustments on that edge can be a little bit uh, subtle so I'll just apply a little bit more softening on that edge and then come back in with my levels adjustment okay let's just zoom in a little bit more so you can see that edge move okay you can see it's moving very slowly now much slower than we do with the maximum and minimum filters uh, which tend to be uh, heavy hitters on moving that edge but if you're being very very fussy and just trying to uh, fine-tune the position of that edge we can use that gamma slider in the levels dialog if you wanted to fine-tune the uh, contrast of that we can just move in um, the both the uh, black input and white input sliders and this will again in increase contrast at that edge okay so for people who are really fussy about their composites first select the area that is not perfect and then uh, first uh, when you get the proximity of the edge close with the maximum minimum filters fine tune it using a levels adjustment and I'll just hit cancel uh, command zero to fit on screen uh, command D every time you hear me saying the word command on a Mac just replace that with the control key on a PC uh, and that uh, basically shows you how we can work on very localized area obviously the uh, select and mask feature is a great tool but uh, its only shortcoming is that it can't work on a selected area of that edge and so these um, this top tip is to help you uh, um, finish off the job really and fine-tune just aspects of that mask edge.